is up welcome back to a brand new youtube video today we're going to be going around my house and finding some things um to paint on um like basically everyday items or items that you can find outside of your house for example rocks which is one thing and a charging cube which is an everyday item for you to charge like your phone your electronics your ipad stuff like that um so yeah without further ado let's hop right into this video charging cube plus a charger and I'm going to be painting some sunflowers on it so this is the paint that I'm using I'm using some orange and some blue to get the brown color and then I'm going to be using um, some yellow paint for the sunflowers of course and I'm also going to be using a charging cube plus a charger plus some white paint because that can be handy sometimes so I'm starting off by putting the brown dot and then with each individual sunflower and I didn't know how it was going to go and how many sunflowers I was going to put on each side, you know, but this first side did turn out good. It was like not like too many sunflowers, but then the other flat side of it had like so many sunflowers on it. So I also did the wire next and I forgot to record that part. But it did come out really cute and I have like this clip of when it was finished and it actually turned out really cute. This idea was actually from Pinterest so you should go check it out and I would recommend doing this DIY. Using some white paint, green paint, purple paint, and some Mod Podge, as well as some paint brushes, obviously. Um, so first, I'm gonna be sanding down the rock um, with like a nail filer or like sandpaper, whatever you have, um, because everybody does not have sandpaper at home. So I'm gonna be also painting the base white, and then I'll do three green sticks and take a little um, dotting tool. If you don't have a dotting tool, use the back of a paintbrush like I did and yeah that's it this was a super easy DIY and I would recommend doing it next up I'm going to be painting some little details on this comb that I had and it was super plain so I just decided to do some little flowers So first it. I sanded the comb just like I did with the rock. And then I added some yellow dots to the comb and was trying to do a flower design with like lines but then that didn't work out so I rubbed it off and then I did some dots around the yellow dots so it could like form a flower shape you know. And overall this DIY did come out really cute and it was just a little new addition to the plain comb. I'm doing a cow print key um, I'm just doing this with an old key that we don't use anymore um, and these are the colors I am using so first I'm gonna be taping the bottom part up and then I'll be sanding it down so the paint doesn't chip off just like the other ones and then I'll be applying the base color which is white and I just took like this little pin that I found and did some cow prints and then I added some Mod Podge to the top. I also added Mod Podge to the other ones. I forgot to mention that, but I did do that. So it leaves that gloss and doesn't chip off. I was also super happy with the end result of this. I'm doing this ombre orange seashell. Um, I've done an ombre like black to white before on a seashell just like this and this is what it was inspired by. So these by. are the colors I'm using and again I'm going to be sanding the seashell down and then I'll be starting off with the base color which is white again and then I'll be trying to do like orange ombre on both sides but it's going to be opposite like the colors are going to be opposite on both sides and then, then I'll be adding some white paint from the bottom and the top and then like I can't explain it well. But 
I'm just trying to blend the colors together in the opposite way from both sides, if that makes sense. Um, it would make sense if you look at the video more, but yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm just making it lighter and lighter into the bottom, and to the other side, I'm making it darker and darker from the orange. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but hopefully you guys understand it, and the video shows more of what it's like. Okay, so after I blended it well enough, I let it dry and then I did the Mod Podge part. Actually, I wasn't actually using Mod Podge. I had this kit where I filmed in box enough, but I haven't posted it yet. And it came with this gloss thing. Um, I don't really know what it's called because it didn't say on the bottle. But it's just like Mod Podge, so you can basically use Mod Podge or that. And just to make it like sealed to the item you're painting. And it will give it a nice shine, you know, too. Overall, I was really happy with the end result of this one, and it matched my black one, so twinsies! So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know that you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Um, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I am actually coming out with a second part to this video, and we'll have more DIYs that I got from my like things from my house, and I painted them and gave it like a little bit more of a cuteness, you know? And yeah, um, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you with a new video very, very soon. Bye, guys!